Hello and welcome to Account Vision. In today's video, we're going to learn the different types of costs in accounting, and there are four main types. One is variable cost, other is fixed cost, semi variable cost, and stepped fixed cost. But let's start by looking at variable costs. Variable cost is also known as direct cost. There are costs which vary with the level of activity. They have a cost per unit, which remains constant. I will come back to this in a moment. And the total variable cost increases as volume of output increases. So as an example, it can be direct materials or labor. But let's say we want to know how a variable cost will look like as a diagram. Well, we're going to have an activity on the bottom axis and the cost on the top axis. Variable cost will look like this uh, shape here where uh, from the bullet point three the total variable cost increases as a volume of output increase so for example let's say we've got uh, five pounds for materials so let's say we've got 50 units we bought then we're going to have to pay 250 pounds of variable cost of materials but let's say we've got 1000 units of them we're going to have to pay 5000 pounds of variable costs and it same applies to labor the more hours you do the higher the cost will be so it depends on the activity level of in that situation next we have fixed costs they are also known as overheads or indirect costs they all mean the same thing it's just a different wordings they are of course which do not change no matter what the activity is and it looks like this where for example let's say we've rented the land for ten thousand pounds if we use the land or not we're still going to have to pay the land because it remains fixed uh, ten thousand pounds so it's going to remain constant no matter what we do with the land we're still going to have to pay ten thousand pounds next we have semi-variable cost it is a combination of fixed and variable cost they are partly affected by the changes in level of activity and it will look like this and let's say we've had to top up a mobile phone let's say we have to pay 10 pounds for 10 minutes of calls but let's say we've gone over the minute limit let's say like five minutes extra and that's going to charge us five pounds that's going to be a total of 15 pounds we're going to have to pay so you can see that this part here is the fixed cost so that's going to be fixed cost but the extra five minutes will give us a cost of five pounds extra which will be the variable cost so i so i hope you can see that because you, here we can see that it will add up to a semi variable cost because we have both variable cost and fixed cost here and finally we'll have stepped fixed cost it is a cost that do not change with the level of activity they increase if you have a more of them so what i mean by this is by let's say an example of rent let's say we've rented a machine for ten thousand pounds no matter what we do with it if we used it or not we're still going to have to pay ten thousand pounds but let's say after three months we bought a same similar machine for ten thousand pounds on rent it's going to increase the fixed cost to twenty thousand pounds and that will remain constant constant no matter what we do with the machines and let's say a month later we bought another machine for uh, let's say five thousand pounds then that's going to increase the cost to twenty five thousand pounds of fixed cost so no matter what we do with the machines if we use it or not we're going to have to pay twenty five thousand pounds for all the free machines because it's going to remain constant throughout the, uh, the period and the same applies to supervisor as well and just to summarize variable costs change with volume fixed costs remains the same semi-variable costs are both fixed and variable and finally stepped fixed costs are fixed but increases if you have more than one fixed cost activity i hope that makes sense for you if you found this video useful please subscribe as i'll be posting more videos in a more simplified way just so that you understand the topics in accounting and don't forget to like and comment down below if you have any questions thanks for watching